I just found out some important stats concerning the men who consume OnlyFans. Now, we all know that OnlyFans is legalized prostitution. That's not exaggeration. That's what it is. It's prostitution. And it turns out that 90% of the men who uh, consume OnlyFans are married. And they make the average income of 42 k So these are the successful men. The successful men who made decent wage and bribed the woman into their life. They're the consumers of OnlyFans. A prostitution. So this is what it is, guys, to achieve success in our society. Bribe some person into your life who doesn't give a shit about you as a person, and then you become lonely and you turn to prostitution. That's success. Right? Now, we'll get into this article written by Lauren Vinipal because she says some things that need debunking, right? The men in, on OnlyFans aren't aren't only who you think. Only? I guess that's a weird way of saying it. Yeah, she finds out that they're mainly married men. Why? Because married men are lonely. The women were never interested in them, right? Now, the first thing I want to debunk is this. Generally speaking, men tend to consume more pornography compared to women. That's a lie. It's a lie because they're not including uh, red pornography. They're not including romance novels, right? Women read all kinds of pornography. They don't include that. So that's just an outright lie, okay? So that one's debunked right there. Here's more denial of reality. Some experts blame social media and porn for the decline of connection between men and women. There was never a connection there. In the past, successful married men had mistresses. Why? Because they needed the mistress to fulfill the desires the wife wasn't going to. That This has been known throughout history. Okay? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Look, it is, let's see. The opposite seems to be true. The majority of only fan subscribers are married men. So the platform may be less of an antidote to loneliness and more of a fatality cheat code. See, that's a lie. See, because they're, the writer of this woman, Lauren, who wrote this, does want to admit that women, married women, were not interested in men. They, they, they use each other for intimacy. They're not interested. The men are just used people. That's, that's why their average income is 42K, right? So this woman doesn't want to admit the truth. And so they try to say these men are cheating, which is a lie. They're lonely. They... Some woman snags them by paying attention to them and spreading her legs until they say, I do. And then they turn those off because that, that was always a lie. That's why the majority of the men on OnlyFans are married men. You can admit it here. It's a tricky assumption to believe that married men may not also experience loneliness. Why is it tricky? It's only tricky if you want to deny the reality of it. Deny the reality that women were never interested in men, right? And interested in men's sex, for the most part, right? Or at least not their partners, not the ones that they're using as servants, right? So it's only tricky if you want to deny that reality. But there is no trick. This is what it is, right? And notice they're back and forth. First, they said it was a cheat code, a fidelity cheat code. Now they're talking about loneliness again. Why? Because in order to tackle this uh, truth, they can't outright lie, and yet they can't also outright tell the truth because it paints women in a bad light. It paints relationships in a bad light. So all these articles are always back and forth. Also, OnlyFans is just another form of marriage counseling. You know how the, the marriage uh, 
the couple would go to a marriage counselor and they'd say, oh, you're bored in the bedroom. Uh, try to spice up your sex life. And this is what's going on. Many participants in our study reported expansions of their sexual experiences. That's what's going on. They're bypassing the useless uh, psychologist and going right to the heart of it. They're going, the men and women are going to this, uh, I don't say the porn site, this prostitution site, right? I won't say porn because not all of it is porn, but it is all prostitution. They're going to this prostitution site and getting ideas, right? See? Hmm. No, they debunk the idea that pornography is an addiction and that it's damaging. But it says it's more likely that the shame some men have about sex combined with poor communications in the relationship. See, they're, this is what they're doing. They're blaming the men for what the women do. These, you know, if if your wife is disinterested in you, you just don't communicate well. No, no, she's never been interested in it, right? And this is the lies that you have to cull out from these discussing Psychology Today articles, right? Like, does it really, is it really hard for a man to come up to his wife and say, I want a BJ? No, of course not. Men communicate exactly what they want. The women simply refuse. They're not interested. So what they do, they go to prostitutes and OnlyFans. That's what's going on. Okay. Okay. Now I just want to uh, debunk some MGTOW crap about this. Okay. Just one thing. With eight models and their reported annual earnings range from $143,000 annually a year to 5.4 million dollars he's talking with the women the top earners that are on only fans now those obviously are the point zero one percenters right they say the top earners on only fools make a hundred thousand or more monthly only fools dedicates a twenty dollar fee yes that's a very stupid thing to say only fools right like like the guys Dealing this prostitution, you think better bachelor here doesn't deal with prostitution of some form? From every subscription and the remaining 80% to the content creator. So if somebody's making 5.4 million, a million of that only fools made. And then the other 80% made the top creator 5.4 million. So you can see. Yeah, there is heavy money in prostitution and always has been. And that's why it will never disappear. It always takes on new forms. You know, it's like whack-a-mole, right? They, they, making it illegal is just impossible. Why Only Fools is buying ads and running stories in major newspapers, and they're pushing so hard for young women. Oh, you can, it's a side hustle, or you can become rich, or you can. Yeah, it's a gold mine, yeah can be like these you know these women driving around lamborghinis and stuff if you join us because they make a lot of money from the but here's the thing in another survey found that the average only fools creator earns around 180 dollars monthly now let's break that down there's 30 dollars in a this is what i got to debunk here he's trying to put a bad spin for these women using only bands uh, 30 days in a month that's six dollars a day that's six dollars a day the average only fools content creator makes so she's putting what are you calling the women only fools they make the money and this is an easy gig dude look women put on their spandex and show their bodies off for free in the streets so six dollars a day is money they they're they wouldn't get otherwise right 180 this is a side hustle Dude, so this woman could pay uh, go part time and get an extra hundred and eighty bucks on the side. And here's the other thing: it supplies more than money. These women get addicted to the male attention on OnlyFans. Some women might even pay money for that, right? So this better bachelor guy, this is MGTOW cope on his part. Right.
It's MGTOW cult. It's like these women aren't even getting a lot of money, right? Well, you know something? It's the $6 a day that you aren't getting and aren't capable of getting. <laughs> and also they get uh, men coming in and validating them validating your existence and you would pay good money for that too that's what men are doing when we go to prostitutes we want some validation and some attention from a woman so come on dude like knock off all this big towel cope anyway i said what i need to say in this video and we'll leave it here